also, in an effort to standardize the operating system used in TVs, vehicles, and smartphones, Huawei released Harmony OS 4. The business declared today that 100 million copies of the new OS have been downloaded. This covers both recently purchased and updated devices, and it was completed in precisely 87 days, with a daily average of more than 1.1 million installs. The news was made quietly and modestly on Weibo via the Harmony OS and Huawei accounts. This company is undoubtedly headed in the right direction with the operating system, but we are not sure if it will be successful in the Western smartphone markets with it. A list of 69 smartphones, tablets, and smart TVs that will receive Harmony OS 4 was first made public by Huawei. After the firm completes the local updates, we anticipate receiving a separate list of devices that are available globally. So, Huawei is entering the 5.5G era, which represents a significant improvement over the current 5G networks and a workable stopgap until 6G. 5.5G, also referred to as 5G Advanced, promises significant advancements in autonomous driving, factory automation, and other uses. Huawei's president of wireless solution, Cao Ming, announced the industry's first full-series solutions for 5.5G at the company's 14th Global Mobile Broadband Forum, held in Dubai on October 10. According to Ming, these solutions will help operators deliver full scenario tenfold capabilities and enable ultra-high energy efficiency, spectrum utilization, and O&M efficiency. With network operators China Mobile, China Telecom, China Unicom, Saudi Telecommunications Company, and the UAE's Do, Huawei has been developing 5.5G. Huawei and Do demonstrated their 5G advanced smart home to attendees at the forum. Both Nokia and Ericsson, who always primary network rivals, are developing 5.5G. Get ready for more intelligent and sustainable mobile networks as well as enhanced support for services and applications like the industry wireless sensors, the metaverse, and accurate virtual reality position, states Ericsson. So, there is mounting evidence that Apple's most recent iPhone is underperforming its predecessor in China, raising the possibility of a setback for the most valuable business in the world in its most significant international market. According to market research firm GFK's data covering end-user sales across all channels, the iPhone 15 series suffered a 6% decrease in sales during its launch month when compared to the same period last year. According to mobile industry tracker IDC, Apple's shipments decreased by 4% in the third quarter. Both companies cite Huawei Technologies come back to prominence in the mobile space as a significant development for the quarter. Despite supply issues, Huawei's Mate 60 series sold about 1.5 million units in the month of its launch, more than double from the previous year, according to GFK. So, what do you guys think? About all this, let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.